What's up, Chris Kiefer, Chris Dennison, Scott Gustafson. We're bringing you some more info on the 2015 250F MX shootout. All right, so the bike that got second place in our 2015 250 shootout is the Kawasaki KX250F. We typically like the Kawi. It's a good bike. It's got good motor. There were a few issues with it, but why don't you tell us about the power plant? It's better than last year as far as in mid-range and top end, it's stretched out. You can leave it in second gear longer and it revs out a little bit further. But for me, it's not as broad as the shootout winner, but it does feel really lively and peppy. And maybe if you get on too fast, it does break loose a little bit on harder pack tracks. So, but there are options for couplers. You can, you know, soften the bottom end. You can uh, make it a little bit more aggressive, which I didn't like. I like the stock coupler. So, a lot of variables that you can work with, and stock motor is pretty cool. Now, Scott, as far as suspension and handling goes, I like the Cowie. I'm kind of a rear end steering guy, and it's got a little bit of a dead feel in the shock, which for me is good because you can slam into square edges and doesn't react too funny. But uh, there's definitely some things you notice about both those points. Yeah, I think that's true. I think probably one of the reasons the Kawasaki didn't win the shootout is because it's not a real precise turning bike, but it is a very stable bike. So you can get yourself very out of shape on this and you'll always be confident with the Kawasaki. Suspension is good, but it's not great. In this particular case, we have the Showa separate function fork. This is a spring fork, so you spring on one side, damping on the other. And again, it's good, but not great. I did really like the shock, just like yourself. I think that dead feeling makes so that you can ride the rear end of the bike and go fast on it. So probably the biggest complaint about the Kawasaki is the god-awfully loud muffler. The bike is uh, very noisy, and that's not a great thing for the sport, but there are some redeeming points on fit and finish. It's very adjustable. You can move the pegs, you can move the handlebar, and we noticed that a couple of the components on the bike, specifically the chain parts, wear quicker than others, so uh, you'll be going through a chain guide a little bit faster if you ride a Cowie. If you want to read more about why the Kawasaki got second, and also to see which bike beat it, you can continue watching these videos on DirtRider.com, or check out the February 2015 issue of Dirt Rider. It's got the full shootout in it.